Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have been left in the front. I want to make a call. You know that. That's disgusting. Greetings from sunny California. That's about to stop. Can you drive to this one? A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up and the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of that, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean food minnow. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always get home run. Sometimes you just gotta make it first. and Galloway, homicide. Seeing secure, the rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. surveying the scene. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Surely there's more, Detective. I won't feel safe in my own home until you do this properly. Did you see anyone around here last night? 
not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. What's the agenda here, Mrs. Barton? You trying to get rid of bows and improve the real estate prices? Or do you want to help us catch this lady's killer? You think I'm lying? All over Los Angeles, house prices are booming, but not here. You try having these bums in your neighborhood. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Belt, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Missing persons reports for white females over the last 48 hours. One moment. We have three white females listed as missing, Detective. Myrtle Douglas, 294 Whitmer Street. One Beatrix Rogers of 1152 West 4th Street. And a Mrs. Teresa Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Jesus, missing persons reports. We're going to be at this all night. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? This is a shot in the dark. How do we know someone even filled in a missing person's report to this thing? We don't, but it's the only thing we've got to go on. Are you sure? Are you sure you searched the scene, Cole? I had a good look. No, I mean really searched it. You were there too. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. I thought you were the goody two-shoes little prick who went over crime scenes with a fine-tooth comb. I thought I could relax in my old age here, Cole. The rain must have washed away the clues that would have led us to her identity. I knew this one was going to ruin my night. At least the rain stopped. We can change back into those white butt. How can I help you, Sonny? Uh, LAPD, sir. We've had a report of a missing woman. Harry Douglas. I made the report. It's my wife, Myrtle. How long has she been missing, sir? Phelps, this isn't going to help our cause. Go ahead, sir. What year is this, son? 1947, sir. I would say for the best part of 12 years now. I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. I hope she comes back. I do, too. Miss sir. Let's get out of here. It's him. The cop from the newspaper. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? See what I mean? We'll be at this all night. There are only two more missing person leads on our list. And they'll probably be as useless as the last guy. But they're just as likely to be reports for that woman in the green dress. No amount of wishful think is going to make me happy to be stuck in this car with these fellows. Learn to love it, Galloway. I'm not going anywhere. LAPD, sir. We've had a report of a missing woman. It's my wife. She's been missing for two weeks. How old is your wife? Uh, 16, nearly 17. And how old are you? Uh, 19. 
And you had been fighting? Oh, a little, I guess. She says she wants to go out and have some fun. And me, I'm working double shifts down at the Saval tool plant. Try the bars along Sunset. We're out of here. Out of the car, police. Please, drive carefully. You know the way, you can drive. And where exactly are we going? Another waste of time. Eliminating false leads is an important aspect of police work. I'm surprised I need to tell you that. You want to know what we did when it rained in the old days, Phelps? What? We operated on the principle that all clues would be washed away. We grabbed someone close, we put the screws on until they pointed us in the right direction. That simple. Why do I get the impression that you're just making this up? Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. You see to your girls. Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bunch of things going out of this person. To check if she was a regular. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. 
If you don't mind, we have a few questions. That's it? Hey, you must be some kind of mind reader, buddy. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. That's a lie. You kept her here until past closing. Say what? I'd like to see you go ahead and prove it, pal. I'm out to help you boys. Try my best to remember something that could help. And you throw it back in my face. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Why are you lying, Benny? Why won't you help us out? You're crazy, pal. You can prove I know who she left with? There's no upside in talking to cops. They always treat you like a criminal. You want us to catch the guy, sir? We need information, not cute answers and delaying tactics. I do my best, goddammit. What do you want from a guy? Any of your regulars know the broad? Ask him yourself. LAPD, keep your seat, boys. This won't take a second. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. LAPD, what are you running from, sir? Come on, gotta ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Spit him out! I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he meant to pick in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Don't go to sleep, Bobby. Get me back in close. Hit him! Clean this asshole off the road. Uh -huh. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. He's showing you how it's done. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. Maybe you shouldn't have waited for me, Phelps. Richard Bates, what is it you want? I'll ask the questions. Firstly, why did you run? I don't mix with cops if I can help it. This ain't right. I ain't done nothing. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? You sure you and the sailor didn't take her somewhere and things got out of hand? Even cops need evidence. You got nothing on me that links me to that woman. Hate to say I told you so. Are we done? This ain't right. I ain't done nothing. So what happened when you left the bar? 
Sailor Boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. I don't like it when you lie to me, Richard. You have the stink of the yard bird about you. What were you in for? I have no idea what you're talking about. You got anything says I done time? You boys should run along. You got a killer to catch. Remember? You're coming in with us, Bates. But I'm not your guy. What exactly am I being run in for? You have a record. You ran from us. And there's the fact that I don't like you. That's three strikes in my book. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Any messages for me? Just a second. You have one new message from Lieutenant Fleischer. Bartender Benny Clough reports victim Teresa Terrelson last seen entering the yellow cab number 3591. Can you have an APB put out on that vehicle? We'll need all sightings relayed to car 11K. Sure, Detective. I'll radio dispatch now. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thank you. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? LAPD, police God, emergency. Oh God, you know. That's no way to drive. Get out of the way! Up ahead, you make a right. I think the power's gone to your head, Phelps. Okay, at the next corner, hang around. There's a different man in front of the captain. So wait for the next journey, you go left. This head straight. Don't turn. Go, just go. PD, I need your car, you now. God, you know. Watch where you're driving, you maniac. Turn back, you're going the wrong way. Cole! You're behind the wheel. He's in interview too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him on the line. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. 
I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. We doing this or what? I got a ship to catch. Sirs? You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. You're lying to me, Jessup. I think you weren't having much luck, and you decided to take it out on Mrs. Terrelson. That's not true. What makes you think I wanted to hurt her? I'm no John Paul Jones, but I'm no heel either. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. I don't believe you, Jessup. You let Bates have it. What's to stop me from thinking that you lost your temper and slugged Teresa Terrelson, too? What have you got that says I hurt her? You got nothing on me. You should cut me a break. I'm trying to do the right thing here. If your story doesn't check out, Jessup, we're hanging you out to dry. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. Hey, I gave his wife a bath. He's an old fair in love. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Now, if you think we ought to, I guess we ought. Three suspects in the can and one on the hook. Still no hard evidence on any of them. someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. Me and the state will be set. We need to hold out the path. How do we do that? If you want your rightful share, I just know what you did last night. We need to fight for it. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You, you can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Someone's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Thank you. 
I'm at a loss. The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. under Teresa Terrelson's chin. What do you think? Teresa's trail leads right to this cabin's back seat, Phelps. We need to find her. Can you drive to this one? The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. But what motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession that we can charge the bump with murder. selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? I thought you'd have more bullshit questions than that. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I've killed. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. The system has crippled and blinded you. 
<laughs> you haven't even noticed. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You're lying, Ackerman. There must be a reason. You could have killed her in the camp. My reasons are my own. Can you disprove what I say? You do your worst. You're the willing tool of a despotic state designed to victimize the unfortunate. We might not have enough to charge you right now, Ackerman. Until then, you can cool your heels in a cell. Just for once, I would like to be able to send my girls to school of a morning and not have to worry about what might befall them on the streets of this fair city. You two are doing nothing to allay a father's fears. Unsolved homicides weigh heavily on this department, young folks. Your latest case is an embarrassment to me and your colleagues. A stint in blues rounding up pond life should renew your vigor. Apprehend anyone and everyone you find flouting the law. At the double now! He has a rather pungent reek about him. Get in there and liberate a confession from him. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? I thought you'd have more bullshit questions than that. Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You hate women, Ackerman. More than you could ever imagine. How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them afterwards. I have no use for that. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor Theresa Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders.